Key, how do you, man, this is awesome, buddy. This is awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I'll let you get next to Scott. He's, he's, he's more important than I am. I'm just going to stand up here and follow you around with my microphone. All right. Well, Craig. You got to turn it on, Scott. Craig, on behalf of Sandwich Fair, we'd like to present you with this plaque for the 2024 Grand National Superstock Diesel Truck Champion. It's, uh, it's awesome to see a Duramax up in the top, and uh, I'm glad you guys could wrap it up here at Sandwich tonight and uh, put on a great uh, show for the fans. Is there anybody you'd like to thank? Oh, there's piles of people I'd like to thank. Uh, my crew is standing here. Uh, my family back home that's not here. Uh, Randy from Performance Pros who builds our chassis, a Waggler competition. Jeremy Waggler has helped us through the years figure out where the weak spots are, or we've figured out where the weak spots are, and he's made the adjustments to make them stronger. Uh, Jim from Weimer Fuel and Turbo for the fuel systems and the turbos and all the fans that come out and watch us and support us and make us keep doing it. We're crazy enough to keep doing it. Well, once again, congratulations, and we hope to see you back here next year again. We'll be here. Thank you. Craig Dickey, everybody, your Grand National Champion Super Stock Diesel Trucks. Can I get some pictures taken? They're cheering. Jeremy Yeager's coming down here. The July. Uh oh, I see champagne. Champagne, ya. This is going to be fun. Watch out. Here comes the cork. I think we just lost the cork, fans, over the top. But we're going to nick. Scott, we got to capture this here. We got there. There it went. There it comes. Dude, let's get it. <laughs> The champagne, yeah. What a, what a way to celebrate a grand national championship. I feel like I'm in the locker room for an NBA or an NFL Super Bowl. Dickie, you're supposed to bring goggles, buddy. You're supposed to bring goggles. I love it. I don't, I don't think you want to listen to all that. We do. We want it all, Craig. Craig, has it sunk in yet? No. No, it hasn't. When, when, when do you think it'll hit you, buddy? I don't know when it'll hit me. I don't know. So introduce it's me to fun. everybody. This is this is my dad, Dale. Hi, Dale. I, I got my camera. I'll, I'll, oh. Normally I'd shake my hand, but I'm not weird. I'll, I'll shake your hand like that. Dale, has it sunk in yet, the emotion, the awesomeness oh, yeah. of this? Yeah, no, I've been blessed with five kids that are all very successful, and Craig leads the way, and I'm just very proud of him. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I got some sisters that are really good at horse showing. I got, I, I got, I, I got like stiff. Track I got <laughs> stiff competition got, in the family. He's got some sisters. That well, you never, you never get too large of a head around the holidays at our house because. <laughs> well, someone will knock you down. Everybody will take you off at the knees, but it's all. Thanks, I'm very Ryan. happy for you. Thank you. I'm super happy for you. Appreciate you. No one can say you didn't earn it. No, we we worked hard to get there, but you guys earned it. Boy, he he drove the boards off her tonight. Had a good run, though. Yes, he did. You gotta be proud of him. Thank you. Great job. Yeah, no. Basically, the second time down the track, full track, right? And he's freaking because he got one chance. Third time. Third time. Third time. Yeah. Bowling Green once. Shied once. He he looked like a pro out there. Yeah. No, he he drove it good. Well, I'm super happy for you guys. You guys worked so hard. Oh, I appreciate for so long. it. Thank you. There's no, uh, there's no mystery, huh? Awesome. There's no mystery how hard you guys nope. worked to get there. Mariah, what I love take this one. Too, is like Van did when he did. Hello. He parked yeah. one out there. Yeah. He's like, I set the car. He jumped out of the truck. He set the thing. He set the bar. Gotcha. I see you had your Thunderbird outfit on. It, it, it was good. I'm. Good. I, That's it's a good year. Oh, I'm mic'd up right now, so. Mic'd up. Yes, they are. They are. Yeah, they got. Well, they're. Your wife? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if it'll ever sink in. It's been a lot of years, Jason. That <laughs> we. Chris wouldn't let us give up on that V8. I know. I know. And, <laughs> and uh, we were just talking to Patty, and she said we were laughing because last year Bowling Green we wrecked a motor, and we had to build a brand new block because a wrecked block, and. Patty was parked right next to us, and we're out there building the motor, and she kept heckling us. I got an inline in the shop. I got an inline in the shop. And Chris shouted over, "Whoa, quit before we put that in there." <laughs> so it's almost, it's almost a dare. It's almost a dare, but, but we ain't gonna do it. You know what? We've had a great year. We we changed a few things on the truck. Uh, we used to run that gearbox out front with that drive shaft. Yep. And we got rid of that and went to a belt drive system. And it's just made the motor happy. I mean, the motor is 100% happy. We haven't, honestly, we haven't touched it all year. And I think that's what's been our success is, yep. it's just consistency and 
making it down the track, making consistent passes, doing chassis adjustments. We were never able to do that before where we were always working on the engine, you know, and I got to really thank Jim from Weimers. He's helped us through. Jeremy Wagler, we've, we've found all the weak spots, even though there was parts he sent, oh, you were going to break these. And <laughs> that one year in, in uh, Diesel and Dark Corners when we, when we broke rods, they sent me these rods. Oh, you won't break these rods. I think they made her 180 feet. I actually seen that video today. <laughs> so, no, it's it's been a wild ride all year, and to get to this point is, I, I don't even know what to say. No, it's, it's it was, I mean, it came down the end because Van Park went out there. Van Park was, went out there. He nobody, made, nobody he made it tough. No, nobody he made it tough. Egg. But, you know, it's, it's always a tough class, like we talked about earlier. No one dominates this class. Yeah. It, it's... I mean, that was Van's first Grand National win this year. We never won one, but it just was consistency and making it, you know, the second places and third places, and that's the consistency is what wins championships, you know. But it, it'd be nice to to win a, win a Grand National hook, but we seem to be able to go out and win PPL hooks, but we can't win a Grand National hook. <laughs> You yeah, know? we talked about because you said you stopped by Goshen on your way to Fort, right? Yeah, we pull in on two wheels coming into Goshen, hurry off and load, get out, pull there, win, and then we we can't we can't do anything at the Grand National Hall, but that's life. We learn, but yeah, we got Jay here. He comes to all the polls with us. All right. He does all our graphics and stuff. Okay. Um, we got Nick. That's my wife's cousin. Hello, Nick. Nick's a good guy, and obviously we got Randy Kleikamp over there. He Randy's builds our. Randy he, come over. He was rattling off, you know, oh yeah, all the different he's, champions. He's and, psyched. Uh, Mark Megan won the yes. the modified four wheel drive Grand National Championship. How happy are you right now, buddy? Um, get close. Stand next to Greg so we can get you on the mic. I'm I'm ecstatic. This is uh, a dream come true. To you can't believe what we did to dream up this super stock IFS chassis. Um, you know, back back in the days, we we had a lot of vision and we put it to success. We're we're so super proud here at Performance Pros to, with all our teams, we won the Super Stock Diesel Championship this year with one of our chassis. The Region Three Championship tonight was won by Mike O'Connor and David O'Connor with Nasty Boys. That's the third truck we ever built. It's I'm gonna say it's 12, 14 years old. Um, it, it's the third regional championship in a row that they won. They won the Enderley pull-off last year. And uh, last week, Mark Megan with the Outlaw truck is another truck that came out of our camp and won the Grand National Championship in 23, and now he backed it up in 24. Um, but this super stock deal and with Craig, it's just unbelievable because, you know, one of the lines I always use is a man, but I'm gonna say a team right now. A team that never gives up is a team that's hard to beat. And these guys have never given up. And I, I but brings me in tears, Craig. Yeah, it's, it's no, a, it's, it, it's, a, it's a team effort. Everybody's got to pitch in, that's for sure. It's awesome. It's awesome. No, it's. I'm just proud of you guys, because like you said, you've never given up. Never given up, never given up. Uh, and a lot of people have told us, just put an inline in and go out and have fun. And, you know, we are having fun. We, we decided, you know, we went and pulled it shy last weekend, or two weeks ago, I guess now, and we decided on Sunday, well, we probably should take it out of the trailer and start it and see if it even starts. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it, that's that's the fun part is we, we've never had that opportunity. Usually we're wrenching half the time, we're putting the truck in the trailer, still broken, and finishing it at the pole because we're busy with our work and everything else, you know, that makes it, that makes it tough for us, you know. We got to work jobs too. Work comes first. I'm going to say this though, Craig, and to all the full pole fans out there, that when you're passionate about something, when you work as hard as you guys have worked at this, it's not work. And I think you and your father-in-law, Chris, have always, this is your release from your everyday life and it's wrenching and working on this truck and trying to make it better. Yep. And that's what you guys have done even with your business, always trying to make it better and to be successful. And you know, that's just a good storyline in life for everybody out there is never give up, work hard, and you're gonna get what you want. And you guys just got it tonight. Just keep following your dreams. Congratulations. You know?
So we, have we met everybody yet? I want to make sure we get everybody. Well, we got, we got uh, Chris Kuzlik. He's my okay. father-in-law. Yep. He, he, he drives and steers the ship. He tells yep. us what direction we're going. <laughs> And and we got Ryan. He comes with us to a, a, all the polls. Okay. He's a he's a family friend. Um, we pick him up every weekend in Eau Claire, and go with. We and then we meet a quick trip. Got <laughs> <laughs> got to love quick trips. That's where we do our grocery shop before we go. And then the tall guy way in the back. He he he's uh, he he's probably helped me the most. Uh, he's he's done motors with me and and everything. And it's. I tell you what, me and him could throw a Duramax motor together pretty fast. I don't know if it's something to be ashamed of or proud of, but uh, we, we do know how to throw them together fast. I like it. Chris, are you happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. That's awesome. So I'm just proud of you guys. This is cool. And we got Steve over here and Troy. They come with us. They love the sandwich fair, so they came hey, with us this weekend. You look over, Nick. Yeah, no, we, we got Nick already. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's short, but we got him. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be pretty tall to hang out with you hey, guys. Hey, at least the chairs came this time with Nick. Yeah, with Nick, the chairs came. We got Eric Stacy over there cleaning cleaning up. He's another guy that's always been behind us. Um, I'll tell you what, he's a, he's a man full of information and has has got a wealth of knowledge, and has helped us out a lot along the ways, along with Van Hazley. I mean, we got to thank Van Hazley. We bought him. He jumped out of his truck us. tonight. He's like, oh. I did what I have to do. He, he goes, I, and he said, I do not wish anything bad on Craig. No. But I laid down the gauntlet. He, he, he put it out there and yeah. made me work for it. That's he one did. thing he did. He well, made me work like, for we it. We kind of set it up you know, in a live stream. Like, you know, Craig's going to know in the next 20 seconds what he has to do. Right. What, you know, if he's got to get out there. Then we start doing the math for you, Craig. Like, as long as you went over 305, we thought you had it. And then I saw 317 pop up there in fourth place. So, That's what he told me. Because your brain's going boom, boom, boom. To, you know, did this happen? And I yeah, because they, the one as I was, and I screwed up the math. Right. <laughs> as, as I was pulling out on the track, they flashed up what everybody's distance were. So I kind of knew yeah. that it had to be, I believe, over 305. Yep. And I asked the, the flag guy at the end what it was. He said 317 something. I'm like, yeah. <sighs> It was a relief well, cause it, it was, because it wasn't the prettiest came pass out, out there. You got out of it, you got back in it, and then like you said, what'd you say to me? Pin it to win it. Pin it to win it. <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> it, it's, it started a hump, and I'm like, well, it's pin it to win it time. And, you know, we moved a lot of dirt tonight, and it wasn't the prettiest pass, but it was a pass that got it done. So. No, it was. No, it was awesome. Cool. So, so we got everybody, Craig? I think so. Yeah, we got awesome. everybody. Here, let's talk about Wagner stuff a little bit here. Going around the truck. Yeah, so I mean, Jeremy's built the block for us. Okay. Um, you know, we've made tons of improvements, and Jeremy has made improvements. Uh, he built it's a three-piece built aluminum block. Okay. Uh, it's got an aluminum model girdle on it, aluminum covers, aluminum heads. Everything's aluminum on it. It dissipates the heat. I mean, we just ran a little bit ago, and you can hold your hands on it, and it's not hot. Um, you know. Uh, our, our intercooler actually is is Chris's design. Chris designed the floating intercooler and, and built it, and then from there Jeremy has taken that on and built them for you know, I mean they're running them all in the pro stock tractors and uh, the semis and uh, yeah, Jeremy is just a he's a mad scientist. I mean he's like I said we'll break parts and we're like we have no idea. He's like well send them to me and uh, we'll look at them or send them pictures and. You know, he's like, oh, we can change this and do this different. And, you know, Jeremy's got a heck of a team there. He's got a lot of guys. Um, Alex is another guy, his head machinist, that probably doesn't get enough credit for what he does because he's very, very good at what he does. Um, the pump and the injectors and all the turbos and stuff, that comes from Jim from Weimers. Uh, Jim has been great to us over the years. Uh, we, we have a hiccup or a problem, and Jim's right on it. He's, you know, usually a lot of times uh, Monday morning, he's on the phone with me. What happened? What's going on? What, what do we need to change? And, you know, luckily this year it just, it just kept running. And I, we didn't change a whole lot, and I think that was a lot to our well, success. Well, you got to work on your setup for once. Right. Instead of working on the truck, like, right. like how you said that earlier. We had the champagne um, from the Gillettes. I love that. Yeah, here. oh, yeah. Gotta give a shout out to them. Like I said, I felt like the NFL locker room was Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Don comes over, Don and Nick, they're great guys. I mean they're the whole the whole polling group, there's there's nothing better than in the super stock class because I mean there's there's no secrets. 
anybody's out there to help the next guy. I mean, it's just, it's wonderful. It's a great, it's a family, you know? And then you gotta wait all winter and not see them, you know? So um, maybe this year we'll get around and visit some people exactly. and take some time, but. Yep, do it. Well, well we're excited. Yeah. We're gonna get, uh, we gotta get ready, obviously, for the Enderly. And yep. We'll do that and then for sure we're going to diesel and dark corners because we got that belt that we got to bring back yep. and hopefully we can just bring it back home yep I that's our it. goal i love it that's so fun down there it's a blast uh, i can't thank hank and ryan enough for what yep. they do they're great guys you go down there it's a great time the weather's good and they feed you enough barbecue that if you didn't eat enough that was your fault <laughs> well craig congratulations buddy sounds great good season. i appreciate you